Hey guys, it's Captain Cowboy. Welcome back. We have another video of Fortune. We were so close last time to getting Blanchett, so let's go ahead and try to get him again. And sadly, on the first roll, we weren't able to get him. We got Glory Banners instead. Not a bad roll, but I really want Blanchett. So, we get him. So let's go ahead and continue this on for the next one. It'd be really nice to move two steps reset this but guess the game doesn't like me that much and we're just gonna continue and now we're gonna go ahead and start messing around with this I have a little bit of airship experience that just got me up three levels got another ability to go up to two airship abilities to five stars and we're almost at level 65. That's awesome. That's right where I want to be. So let's go ahead and increase all these levels. Just master that guardian ability. That's great. That's awesome. Got that 17.5% increase. That started at level 61. It's a nice little boost. Not much, but when you're at a high level, every percentage counts. Alright, we also got Blanchet and some airship parts. So let's go ahead and... It's orange, so we can just get rid of it. Doesn't really matter. Does make a difference. It's just going to be turned in. And then we have Blanchet went over this before he is a nice guy to put in instead of your troop march capacity for for me personally I'd have him as a strategist over Madame Lenoy after I send my march I'll go ahead and throw in Blanchett to get my troop stats and then let's just go see how how much uh, experience we can get. I'm not going to throw everything into him right away. I want to just get him there and then see what we can do. Get him up to three stars. Now there's also the Dashing Duelist, but you only get that if you have all three of the new guards. And honestly, I don't... Kitty's not a bad choice, honestly. I'm think... I've been debating it, but I already have a three star in the place of Kitty. And it's going to cost me $800 to get Kitty to 3 stars. So I'm not entirely sure if that's the route I want to go. And then also I have a pretty good hero. Instead of having D. Argonaton or whatever his name is. So I don't think that currently it's a good enough benefit for me to get that Dashing Duelist benefits. But just want to go ahead and show you guys this really happy about this. We get distance damage received which makes nothing. Troop attack which is nice and then infantry damage received which is also nice. And we're back up to a million gold and we just hit broke that thousand percent mark with infantry health because of Blanchett. So I think that's awesome. Really happy about how my game is affecting me right now. How everything is changing. But let's go ahead and get these airships figured out. I'm going to go ahead and just reset them. There's a bunch of level 4s that I don't really care for. It might be able to get me to an additional level 5 airship ability, but we'll see. Kind of doubt it. So go ahead and just reset everything.
So basically what I'm doing is I'm resetting them so then in my inventory I'll have a bunch of airship gears that I can then increase to a higher level, get a higher percentage increase for my airship abilities which will affect not only the base ability but as well as the ability for being above level 21. So that's awesome. And I was able to get another airship ability to 5 because of this. So that's it. Then we're going to go ahead and see where I want to put these airship to 5 at. And I'm thinking, all right, cavalry is going to be the last place I want to do it. So I want to make sure everything else is set up. But it already is at level 5 everywhere else. So I went ahead and put it into my cavalry. And that's pretty much this video, guys. Thank you all for watching. This is Cowboy as always. Don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest uploads. Thank you for watching.